Uh, hello, everyone. Uh, I'm starting um, the webinar. Uh, this is all about the price section and how I'm using the price section in my favor, how to identify what's most important thing in the any financial market, the forex um, and stock market as well. My name is Petr Echimovic. I'm a professional trader for about eight years. Um, I'm trading uh, with um, large investors. I'm doing the, a managing account. I also have my men own mentorship program, but I also um, help other uh, people to um, you know, to let them know what's most important, that they don't need anything else than just price itself, you know, and everything on the, they, they have everything in front of them. So we're starting with this PowerPoint presentation. Um, uh, first of all, basics about the price section. Market conditions change over time. Prices are dynamic and constantly changing, and no trading day is ever exactly the same as the previous one. And volatility fluctuates, and sometimes the market can sink quite for a long time, only to erupt in a flurry of activity soon after. When the market becomes quiet for a while, I get a lot of people writing in, uh, quite emotional, asking if there is something wrong with the price action. And the fact is actually that there is never anything wrong with the price action. It's all in their minds because they took losing trades or or over trading or they just haven't adjusted to the changing market dynamic and volatility that's one of the very basic parts and also very hard part is to adapt to the market dynamic and changing in volatility which is um, which i will explain you later on on the charts uh, how we can spot that and we also use the volume tick volume to help us to um, you know, to identify the changing in trend dynamic and uh, the changing in volatility and starting of the new trends, let's say, in that way. So, price action is not a system. It's a very important thing. Um, one thing that I think many beginning price action traders get confused about it is that price is not a trading system. When traders finally come over to the price, um, price action camp they have um, most likely came from a trading system that was a far more rigid and rule based in the price action indicator based systems and computer software trading systems are much less flexible and distractionary than price action so it can be difficult for a new buy price action trader to get used to the newfound freedom um, that price action entails. So basically, people are, you know, traders thinking that price action is a system, they can trade only price action and that's it. Um, you know, don't use anything else, you know, just using the swing highs, lows, and stuff like that. That's not enough, that's just one of the parts of the price action. There is a price action, it's much more complex than just swing highs, swing lows, or support resistance. Um, and we'll cover that later on. So we'll go to the next slide. And um, this is also important thing. It's that price action is universal. It has always worked and always will. Another question I often get from traders is about whether or not price action will stop working or is something wrong with, with it lately. And price action has literally been used about 300 years and was the first real form of the market speculation. It has worked since then and still works today and it always will. That's a very important thing because everything is on the chart. Basically, if we speak about a Forex market, it's um, everything actually on the chart. So... Um, Forex, it's, there is fundamental, so it's not so important like on the stock. You don't need to watch the um, company's growth and, you know, um, a lot of uh, progress of the company to see the fundamentals of the company, like that is example on the stock market. Here it's basically most uh, important thing. Uh, it's price action, trend, and proper money management, you know. 
to enter the right time and to build position. Um, anyway, however, just because I say price action works, it doesn't mean that every trader and every trade will be winner. Indeed, even some very successful traders may still lose half their trades or even more, but due to proper risk reward scenarios and a, re a refined sense of when to trade and when not to trade, they can still make a lot of money. So it's not about that if you have like 40% win ratio, but if you have the risk reward ratio like one free uh, in average, you're still a very good uh, trader and you earn very good money, you know? And if you have 60 or 70 and still the uh, one free in average ratio, that's even better. And that's a very, very successful trading. The important point to remember is that price action has always worked and it always will uh, work because it's the most natural way to trade. We're just learning to read what the price is telling us and looking for a high probability close price action trade signals as to what it might do next. Price volatility does fluctuate over time, but we do tend to see the same patterns and movements repeating themselves over time in the market. This means we can learn to identify and in, in, interpret these patterns and movements by um, learning price action trading and profit from them if we keep our loss in check and don't over trade. Very important thing, we don't want to over trade uh, we want to have the good money management and with uh, price action trading, trend trading, you know, to don't extend the risk. And that's one of the key parts. We go to the next slide right now. Importance of multi-frame analysis, large view. This is one, uh, something which is critical uh, on any financial market. You have to learn to, uh, to use what the overall market condition is and learn to trade price action signals in the context of the underlying market structure. Uh, taking in the bigger picture of what the market is doing will help you formulate a plan of attack for how you will trade. So basically this is why I stress to my members to focus on higher time frame charts, especially the daily chart time frame. If you're sitting there focusing on 5 and 15 minutes a chart, you're going to miss out on the bigger market picture and lose perspective on what the underlying dominant market trend is. And this is why these low time frames tend to chop traders up and take all their money. And this is actually um, how they take your money. You know, basically you want to reach overnight, you know, you, know, you want a quick reach chain um, to, you know, to earn you know a lot of percentage in a one month and stuff like that so you're going to scalp on one five you know trying to you know take a few pips and get out you don't using stop loss and all other things going from the mm, don't knowing what this business is about and don't knowing or well, let's say you, pr proper knowledge is very very key part here basically you want to get a board big market moves because that's how the serious money is made in the markets. It's not made from catching 10 pips here or there on the five minute charts every day, not to mention trying to do so will drive you insane. Basically the emotions when you trade the lower frames um, together with the not knowing what's the larger picture on the market, watching the very, very, um, you know, how to say, we, we watch very, uh, you know, basics like beginners you know you want just one time frame or two and that's it that's not good that's not professional you must know what's overall picture what's the overall trend and what's conditions on other frames and perspectives you know and you must be in sync of the multi time frames basically if you want to trade an intraday let's say you cannot buy if something is you know the, the, it's clearly down, you know. You cannot buy an intraday and hoping for 50, 60, 70 pips if the market conditions on the larger perspective are not good for that. That's one of the basic things in the, in the trading, you know. So you must be in focus with higher frames. And this is the, you always want to be in sync with short-term traders, investors. 
one of the key parts on the forex market it's basically it's all about the traders and the investors okay so from one side we have the traders you know the aggressive traders from the other side we have a little bit lazy investors um, and what's actually point of this one why you need to be in, in sync with both of them because basically like always the trend uh, starts by let's call them traders short-term traders aggressive traders you know with that's how the trend starts but trends exist just when the investors uh, confirm that and accept that so you know you always want to be in sync with short-term traders and investors why I'm telling you this it's um, invest for, for example the trend which I will show you very soon we will go on the chart and we will speak on the chart um, for example you you want to trade the market you want to trade an intraday or you know and then you see that something going up you know from the strong downward moment you know and uh, it's starting to go upward that upward movement have two possibilities otherwise it can be a climatic action you know uh, it can shake out some sellers taking stop loss um, and the point is if that upward movement or upward leg hold upward swing how you can go how you want if that's not confirmed in the next period by investors um, we will not see any changing in trend dynamic it doesn't matter if you look like intraday uh, short or midterm perspective so the point is you need to be in sync which I will explain you and there is a methods how to see that um, which I'm teaching my mentorship program as well you know very very clean methods to spot where are traders and how the investors are actually keeping positions uh, now I always trade with both of them again in the same way something we call the trend I always build position based on multi-frame analysis I always use stop-loss orders um, that's one of the parts I got a lot of questions you know from the students um, in the you know in the past because they asked me we do we always need to use stop loss and you know can we sometimes don't use stop loss or stuff stop loss is in any professional trader I trade professionally about eight years so stop loss is must thing it's not about it you think or not you know this is Forex market you need to have the area where the your potential view analysis prove that you're wrong and you exit as early as possible you don't want to lose your whole capital to be in very bad situation hoping that something will back which for example let's say that you bought something and, uh, and you bought for example you did mistake and you bought um, the way when the dynamic and the trend starts to change from upward to downward now imagine that you don't keep uh, you don't have stop loss and you keep position hoping that something which changed trend dynamic from bullish to bearish will again start to bullish that's not how the market works market don't uh, market punish these persons these traders these type of traders because you know to change the trend dynamic on short mid perspective or intraday even it's not um, so easy but once it's going to happen and there is a big potential it's going to happen and it's happening you must secure yourself if you did a bad uh, trade and you didn't have the proper timing when you entered position um, then you must have your stop loss order and keep uh, your capital safe you know and watch for the other opportunity and the next thing is I'm going for at least one to three risk reward ratio in my setups for new traders risk reward ratio it's how much I risk and for how much I go to reward if I risk 1% I'm going for at least 3% gain for particular setup or position of course I'm securing and managing my position 
uh, how the how we see the in progress, how I see that uh, my uh, setup is progressing, you know. And if setup, for example, I buy the changing, I see the changing trend dynamic and I buy and I see the progress is good, I still going upwards, then I wait just the pullbacks to add positions. That's how you uh, work with uh, investors and short-term traders together, what we call the trend. Uh, you establish your positions and then on every day you see how the price is going and react. And if price is going in your favor day by day, you just can add on the pullbacks, you know, um, uh, of the um, after corrections, downward corrections, if you want to buy. So you just add. Never add more than you enter the first position. That's one of the rule. Ne next rule is you never add something. For example, you bought and price go went lower. You never add into something which is going bad. That's a very very important part to understand. If you want to add position. You add into already winning position, just adding uh, some percentage, uh, you know, um, to keep, you know, the good, something which is good, to benefit from that, you know. You watch day by day, you can watch day by day and add if there is a possibility to add, you know. And the, 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 the next rule is I never risk above 1% from my account per position, so that's maximum if I'm uh, going to take the... Uh, if I'm going to risk more, that's not in my comfort zone and I don't want to trade on that way. So basically it's uh, one is maximum and zero three, zero five, it's zero two, depend on the, uh, it's institutional account or it's just, um, if account is mine or, or, you know, I can trade with 1%, but if institutions or uh, large investors once the drawdown maximum 5%, I cannot trade 1% risk. So basically, I'm going to trade 0.2 risk or something like that, you know. So the drawdown, the investors want the low drawdown, 5 to 10 maximum. And for them, I cannot then risk 1%. I must do much lower, like 0.3. <laughs> and then the next thing is, this is my way and what's needed for success. Actually, there is a no millions of the parts. It's actually quite simple. There is a simple part. Every part must be, uh, few, you must be fully adequate in every part to understand, to come to the success. But actually, there is a just four parts, you know. Uh, this is my experience and in, in in, in the success. So, first, if we speak about the charting, it's about the price action. Price action for itself is the best tool or best indication to help you to um, analyze, you know, what's going to happen and what's your probabilities. The next thing is multi time frame analysis because. Again, backing, you cannot watch only one frame. It's not professional and you will have no results at all if you watch one or two time frames. You must be in, in alignment of, um, you know, of almost all time frames. So the short term, like 15, 30, like one hour, four hour daily, you know, to see what's going on, you know, on the larger perspective to the short perspective. The next thing is trend. Something I spoke in the previous slide, it's about the, Traders and investors. Traders are far more aggressive. Traders starting the trends. They starting to change the behavior in the market. But you must know that without confirmation of the investors, the trend will not be established. So basically, the trend is starting and short-term uh, short traders will from time to time start to do some big movements and start to change the, the, the behavior of the market, but the investors must confirm that and they must start to actually build big positions if we want the trend to be established. So basically, traders start the trend and trend is established later on only by investors, you know? Otherwise, it will be just starting something to push 
you know, but without investors, it will just go on the investor's way. Investors have much more power, liquidity, you know, but they go bought each other. You know, investors cannot do a loan, short-term traders cannot do a loan. So we like individual traders, we need to follow these two groups. And when they two are in alignment, then there's the where the best results are happening and uh, uh, where you can benefit a lot with like individual traders. And the fourth thing about the success is money management. So even you have these three parts and you understand all of these three parts, which is price action, multi-frame analysis and trend, if you don't have proper money management, you still will not be successful. If you risk, if you overextend risk, risk uh, five, ten percent in a position, or more, or don't have the stop loss, that's terrible, and you will still not be successful. So, you must have all the four parts, all four parts in alignment: price action, multi-frame analysis, trend, money management. Okay. <clears throat> now, before we go to the chart, and before I open the chart, and we go to the price section. About investing in general, I wanted to tell you, which is, there is a, investing is all about, um, many of the investors, even large, they don't understand the clearly investing, you know. Um, investing, it's not like, I'm going to invest something and want to get rich overnight or stuff like that. Investing is a, something where you, in, in terms of the Forex, it's foolish speculative market. Forex, it's don't respect too much fundamentals. Uh, it's a very wild market. Um, th this is a trading only about the price section. Uh, it's trading with the margin. Um, if you don't use proper um, money management, if you're not very experienced and skilled trader, you will for sure lose on the Forex. Um, the same thing actually does on the stock, uh, but there is a something where forex have the good things and stock uh, stock don't have for forex since it's speculative nature it's working like 24 hours a day you know it's available for um, pretty much um, everyone you can trade um, you know every day 24 hours uh, you know if you want um, so it have a lot of freedom there i mean it's not like stock have the time uh, time when it's worked and when it finished, that's it. You wait the next day. Stock is the like very beautiful way to um, pretty much create financial freedom and success if you're a smart investor. Um, you know, earn hundreds of um, absolutely about 100, 200 uh, percentage a year. You know, with smart investing in the stock. But stock is more for mid long term investing. It's the very very best way to extend your capital. Forex is for speculation, usually on the short-term term perspective. That's why it's created. Um, usually the best traders trading um, short-term, watching the intraday and larger frames to trigger their setups. You know, So let's say the shorter term traders are most, they benefit the most uh, on the Forex. Um, now, we will. I will share the screen with um, with the chart. So, and here, once you see my screen, I just want to, to check. Please let me know if you see my screen. Uh, right in the chat, do you see my screen uh, chart? Not the British pound dollar. And if you see, you can tell me. Um, so write in the chat if you see my screen uh, or If you see my screen, just write again. <clears throat> I 
Okay, you see? Okay. <clears throat> okay. So, basically, this is a chart of British pound dollar, um, US dollar, and I got some. I got two positions here. I took with um, one investor uh, two positions here, and I posted this my uh, analysis since a few days ago that I'm starting to build buying positions on the British pound, and I'm still holding the buying positions. Um, now, let's see why I build positions and how you can watch the market itself using the price action and volume. Volume, it's very, very strong part in analysis. This is about tick volume. It's not same like on the stock volume. Stock volume is the stock market is centralized and volume there it's pretty much how many shares is, you know, uh, playing around, you know, on the daily via sort of uh, the time frame you watch, so you see the exactly daily number of traded shares. Uh, here, this is tick volume, you know, it's about every tick, you know, and it's calculated, it's it's not centralized, so um, the different broker provi uh, uh, forex providers can um, provide a different number in the ticks, and that's normal because they have the different liquidity providers, which <clears throat> how they get the ticks, you know, and how they get the quotation on the market. But it's still good to have on the chart. It's not so ultra important like on stock, but it's still good to have on the chart like additional toll. Um, uh, so what's important about the volume? Usually it's about the volume spikes. The volume spikes are something which is most important. Uh, ultra high volumes, the very high volumes areas, and the climatic actions. Climatic actions are something like when we have the widespread, <clears throat> I mean, when I say widespread, I mean the the spread is uh, distance between, uh, between high and low of the VAR. And when, when we have the widespread on the very high and ultra high volume, that's called a climatic action. It can be a buying climax or the selling climax. Markets don't like the very wide range spreads, bars, and on the very ultra high volume. This is something which you need to know that um, markets uh, don't like wide old, wide range uh, bars on ultra high volume. It's all it's same on the stock as well. It's same on the forex. And basically, all most of the trends and trend dynamics are starting to change after some big climatic action, um, big climax on the wide range, or you know, widespread. And that's a basic thing about the volume. We will not speak not speak deeply into the volume analysis, and you know, I will speak generally how to use the, um, you know the how to watch the price action the global price action you know and using the volume to identify when to start to build positions so and on the my mentorship program i go deep to the volume analysis and um, also explain you um, add more things to explain you how to watch investors uh, together with uh, with um, with uh, traders what we spoke on the presentation uh, but here um, I will explain you the reasons why I started to build buying positions um, two days ago. So, first of all, what we got here. I hope everyone can see this. So, this is a um, classic selling climax. What we spoke, the wide range, wide range of the bar. This is about 100 pips bar in 30 minutes. I will zoom in this. Uh, I can use also these bars. So it's better to use this. So, 100 pips drop in about 30 minutes in the ultra high volume. And I say, when I saw this, I say, okay, it's fine. Now I need to see how the investors and how the short term traders and traders, let's say, how they will react on this massive drop 
after the news. So this is a news reaction. Um, you know, news is there pretty much on the forex to play it mess up, you know, and to um, literally to take the money of the unknowledgeable people, the people who don't know what they're doing, what they're doing. That's what that's what's news about, you know. But the, for smart traders, for smart investors, news are a very good thing because after the news, uh, traders and investors come to the alignment um, and uh, they come to the something which is calling, uh, called equilibrium or compression. You know, you can use the different words. And compression, it's when from the massive climatic action, it was clearly downward at that stage. What is compression or equilibrium? When the price go and stop and go to the sideways. Okay. What that means? That's pretty much that panic sellers and they sold a lot, you know, and uh, investors, let's zoom out this, investors who starting to sell from this point here, you know, now, since the market don't like the large spikes and not just that, the large volume spikes with wide spreads are very good thing to close positions, you know. But how actually the smart investors and traders benefit from this? Basically, I will just explain you the if you if you was if you did short positions from the, this, let's say example, you did short positions from this, and now the news came in here and you see a spike of hundred forty pips. Now the Traders who don't don't have the knowledge, who are very lucky to knowledge, you know, they will still trying to buy because it, it's you know it dropped almost the whole whole trading range in the 30 minutes and stuff like that, and you know they will watch that and they will start to buy here and then look at this another 260 pip drop. Um, what's actually happening is that short term traders did a, a job here, you know, and I will explain you here later on. Investors were in alignment in that stage when drop came in. So we have investors who are actually, who are key, uh, key, how to say that, key, uh, key, um, key points, let's say, of the establishing the trend. And you have from one side the short-term traders who started the trend. So they are in agreement, uh, in uh, they are in the in the same in the same way here, and how this selling climax, because this is the same thing like this. Why this didn't reverse from this stage here and went higher, and why this it's starting to reverse and it reversed and it's uh, starting to go higher. First of all, if you watch this climatic action here, what you see after that, you see one neutral bar and the next is lower. And it's going very good lower on, on the high volumes here. There is no equilibrium. There is no uh, trading range. There is no compression. To change a trend, you need price to to go into compression, you know, and then to see that investor exited their positions and start to build and establish the new trend. That's all. You know, it's not just like. We, we went lower, you know, and little price go a little higher, we changed the short-term trend. No. You need investors to exit their previous positions from the previous trend and to start the new positions and establish the new trend. That's all about on any financial mark, you know. So, here, there is no compression, there is no trading range, there is no market that went in trading range and absorbed this supply which came in here. It was clearly just straight down bar, a little bit neutral the next bar, and starting downward again. Because investors was in the same way, they exited the buying positions previously on this bullish run, and they started to establish the new trend in, together with short-term traders. For the new persons who came in the room, uh, the traders are 
starters of the trends. So they are aggressive, and the the ninety ninety percent of the of the time the trader starts a new trend, but the trend is established only when the investors come in and confirm that they're pushing for the new trend. The, the, the traders are pushing for the new trend. Traders will from time to time try to change the behavior, but they will not, many of the case, they will not succeed. You know, many of the case, they will not succeed because there is no large investors to confirm that trend later on. But here, we got the long-term investors, the investors, confirmed together with short-term uh, with short traders, and we got the draw. Now we got to the part of this selling climax. Now we're waiting to see the sellers from this stage. doesn't matter if it's all here or this area or this. The sellers from this stage will exit their positions, and basically the, investor, the investors will exit their positions only if they see that very good will and very strong power of the uh, of the traders, you know, and if they see the equilibrium and compression, then they will look to exit their selling positions and start together with traders to establish the new trend and earn more money. Simple, yeah. So here, selling climax, we know. It's a big opportunity that we may see the compression or equilibrium, and we saw. How is that? It's a trading range. You know? It's a trading range. This is a trading range. You know? And this is called a base on base later on. And we have the base on base. You see this push here. You see the price all the way to this where the supply came in. Okay? And look what happened. We're going higher. We change behavior from bearish to bullish, not by just, uh, not just by traders. Also, investors started and exited uh, around this age selling positions, and they started to build buying positions. You know, they started to build um, from this area. You know, they start to build clearly from this area, from this area. They start to build. The adding positions here, and that's where I also added position. It's actually in this, uh, when price test the previous swing high, the add positions. Okay. So, you know, uh, how is that? I, so, it's very clearly that this upward movement, for example, on the cable, it won't finish just because, um, I will explain you, Look at this bar, you know, and everyone will trying to sell here and start to sell because they think they add the selling here because they think that this is, a, you know, uh, it's, you know, it's a massive sell sellers came in and stuff like that. But actually, it's totally different. Basically, the trend is already established by investors and the traders. And this is only some scalpers and very ultra aggressive sellers came in on the news, and that's it. They exit their positions. So they came in, they exit their positions, and they attracted people into the trap, you know, because many researches and many uh, sources, what you learned about the price section, actually don't go deeply into the price section that you understand. For example, why this clear resistance? You know, and massive reaction. You know, massive. This was this was a reaction of about 80 pips in a two hours price drop. Strong resistance. Why it didn't continue lower? You know, not just it didn't continue lower. And I'm telling you, this is very very bullish because of the background. Background. You know, you don't watch the one bar. You don't watch. You know, if there is a resistance, one bar weakness, we sell. No. You can go to the trouble. You can sell around this stage here. And price drop 10, 15 pips, and then it's going upward. And it can possibly to have much upward, at least 100 and 200 pips more. You know, 
Why? Because we clearly show, show the changing in trend dynamic in the background. We saw the climatic action, we, show, we saw the a compression equilibrium, we saw the base on base here, we saw the total absorption of this supply, and this have a potential of going for two, three hundred pips higher. So, <clears throat> it's basically because this is how market works. You know, and the trend will not change, and behavior will not change on the short term perspective until we see the short term traders and the traders start to sell, and later on the investors confirm. You know, if the investors don't confirm that, it will be just pulled back to the original investors' favor, which is upward at this stage. All this you see it's just corrections on the upward. Okay. <clears throat> Basically, it's I will explain you this is a, my reason for um, for buying. Okay. So I bought here, you know. I bought here, I added here position the next day. Because I adding into the good, growing, um, healthy market, you know. So you add on the after the corrections, and that's how you that's how you benefit. And everything started from the patterns, from the bases, you know, from the uh, something which is going upward, downward. It's it's very rarely that price will just go upward and. The new trend will start just when the price drop, you know. Usually price will go to the equilibrium, like 90% of the cases, price will go to equilibrium and then starts a new activity. Okay. So look at for example this base here. What's going on? What's happening here? You know, we got some climatic action here. Of 45 pips. This was a buying climax here. This was a false breakout. False breakout to the recent swing high, and price started to change behavior here. You have the lower swing high. You have the lower swing high. You know, lower swing high. And this is where you build selling positions. You build selling positions around this stage here when the price and when the investors exited buying positions earlier and started to sell together with traders. Okay. And I will use this span. So basically, we go higher and then we got topping here. It's a double top. Okay, formation. And we're going, this is also equilibrium. And this is the exit from the base. The first exit from the base. Back into the base a little bit, to again to a little equilibrium, then starting again. So basically, this is stopping action, you know, which is how the trend got formed. Trend didn't, you know, started just like, you know, just like price went here and just dropped here. New trend. No. Price go to topping form and then start to change. What that means? That means that the investors to exit their buying positions need to see how much willing of the and power of the traders are to move actually into the new to do the, that push to attract investors to change their opinion, exit their buying and start selling. Basically, if I'm um, um, if I'm an um, investor, for example, and I bought here, and I see that price is trying to top here, break out here and back here, I will exit around this stage here, taking this part and sell here, you know, and sell here. And then when the price is going progressing good, I see no, rea no point to exit. What I will do? 
I will wait to see again equilibrium and same thing from the other side. So I want to see the bottoming and I got the bottoming. This is same thing. You know, this is the equilibrium here, you know, and price after it went higher. So I will, if I'm, uh, I did this sell here and you exit around this stage here. You know, you don't want to hold any more positions. You already earned very gone, very good. You know, so basically you want to profit this, cash this, and start a new buying. And pretty much that's how the you know that's how. Just a second. That's how trends are established. You know, to establish the new trend totally, you need big, big work. You need equilibrium, compression, and then separation, the big separation from uh, traders from investors to confirm it's, it's something healthy. Okay. Now, let's take a look at this one. Okay. This example is again where you see the base here, you know. And I will explain you here. You take the take the pen. You see the massive downward. So a lot of investors and and traders was in the same direction for quite a long time. You know, I mean, quite a long time. It's a few days, but it's clearly downward movement and big drop. And now we're going to the area of what? Of equilibrium. You know, we're going to the area of the equilibrium. And this is the bottoming form. It's a classic bottom form. When investors, smart investors, you know, and the short-term traders exited their, um, their sellings and they started to buy this. Why to buy? Because there is a bottoming. We went into compression, which is what we want. You know, and we want compression agreement before we see the new trend. So you, we will not buy until we see the clear compression and agreement and clear changing in behavior, the buying side. Okay. Now, when we have the this base, what's important to say is once you see this drop in against selling climax here, do you will sell here? I will never sell here because this bottoming is much bigger background than just one drop, you know, on some bad news, you know. That's a very important part. What the price did is actually went to test the the base projection of the base. Actually, it's usually price go like three to five times of the range in this in this base. You know, so at least to go from this stage here, you know. And look here. Again, backing up clearly, and you can still buy here or here. Start to buy when we got the clear bottoming, and this is exactly the Wyckoff method I'm used, you know, uh, with price section and volume. This volume here, it's actually when the, we got strong sign of the strength, you know, we got climatic action here, testing of the trading. Um, secondary tests, a lot of secondary tests, and then again, sign of the strength at this stage, and then price back up. You can build one position here, you know, got the clear changing in, you know, you build here, and then the price go here, here, here. You take some profit here, then you add here, you know, and going, um, you know, look at where the price went to this area, and Guess what? There we that is the topping area. Again, we saw the topping 
uh, topping base and this is the where this started okay again another example here is it's this one just a second I will go scroll go here this is the example we got the buying climax here then we got a big big um, leveling off volume decreased a lot we got double top classic form you know fake breakout the highs you know look at the swing low where it is here and this is again base this is a uh, um, also the fake breakout or you know up trust and this is actually up trust after up trust after distribution you tell and guess what from the buying side here we got the topping form you know retest of the swing low and look at this you see where you where you start to sell if you ask me I start here I start here you know and I don't do anything in this stage here because this may be a bottoming form so I will just keep my sellings from this stage here this area and this area here you know until I don't see the changing in trend behavior and and see um, I exit my selling and I start to buy so this is like how investors and traders successful think how they're thinking you know I always do like this you know it's not again it's not enough for topping to be like something go up or and downward to change trend like this it must be something very unusual it's happened very rarely trend is changing in patterns trend needs a time to change you know it's need investors to you need a lot of traders to attract the investors to start a new trend exit the previous trend you know it's not like we're going upward and downward it's not a changing in trend no this is a classic so form like this it was something went higher than something like this you see this is what happening and this is the how we got a topping before the massive turn and then the same thing happened here price go upward depend of the base if base is big enough it will go up all upward if it's not big it can be just temporarily and then another base for another low price you know for example this base was worth like 100 pips as we know three to five times more the price will probably go we know that 300 at least we expect drop and look how much we drop I will exactly tell you from this base 500 pips exactly one to five from the imagine you know it was a clear clear topping you know it was a clear topping and this is a where you ex where you start to build selling and put the plus 40 pips 50 you know and look at the reward you you know when, when you exit to be honest I will exit on this stage here you know after I clearly saw the changing in trend dynamics so I will wait for this area and I will take about three 350 pips you know and that is a big big risk ratio risking 40 pips you know so that's how you earn money that's how you earn money and uh, where is this so basically look at most recent action here it's when the sellers exit and when I also start to, to start to building buying position how long I will keep this I will keep as long and uh, when I see that there is a clear compression so it must be a clear compression and then after compression I need to see that the investor the investor start to sell so I have positions here and here I'm right now 40 pips on the 
most recent one and more than 70 pips on this one I secure this one here and I cannot lose here I still didn't secure I want to break out swing high and this area and then I will secure also this and that's how you progress this can go up with smaller corrections a lot you know um, or it can go upward and do some base here and the price and investors start to exit their buyings and start selling so we go again selling but for now it's very bullish okay if we speak about the EURUSD what we got there this is what what um, I got auto questions but my opinion about the EURUSD um, my opinion is on EURUSD it's pretty neutral and tends to um, go uh, a lot of upward when I say a lot of upward I basically think this can go about three to five hundred pips from this stage upward um, why I'm thinking it's the same logic I'm not having any position since I didn't so clear changing in behavior I just we are just into the sideways and we are just into that compression or ag agreement area where um, investors agree with a fair price with traders they agree but investors you know what the investors are waiting they wait the traders to to do if they traders will massively start and we see clear upward lag then I'm watching the some retracement to build buying positions on for sure and to build good buying positions there else if the price go lower which I give a less possibilities since this massive selling climax in the background and after that we immediately start the sideways and this is also the fake breakout of the swing low so basically what we got here is classic double bottom four this is a double bottom you know and price broke clearly the, this area here okay at this stage so double bottom massive selling climax a training range is all conditions it's short-term traders it's about to to establish and to start to establish, uh, to start to push into the new trend and the investors will later on follow them in that and confirm that trend exit their sellings from earlier you know they can they can hold sellings from this base here this base here you know and after that if they confirm that you know they, they still wait probably they have the positions of two three hundred pips in their favor you know so basically investors you see this basis here I will take the pen and show you what's go what's actually the point here investors let's say there is investor sold around this stage they went in the equilibrium there is no equilibrium there is nothing here and then we went into the sideways okay we return the swing low and we're going lower they still keep their selling not just that they can even add uh, positions at this stage here now big selling climax reaction to the top of the where the selling climax started you know still nothing price go lower here still lower then another equilibrium but there is no reaction from short-term traders to push higher and to start some push so investors to to make investors to think about exit and establish the new trend and we dropped another time here you know now we can drop more you know that's also option but according to base we got in the length of the base this seems like potential accumulation and um, potential uh, exiting of the uh, in selling from investor selling and starting to um, to the new trend by investors and the traders this seems like a topping form you know like a double bottom and if you compare this one this form to this one 
this is a just nothing. It's a selling climax reaction from buyers. That's, but as we know, the trend, the trend, and you know, cannot be changed like that. And that's what I spoke. You cannot have this and straight up like this and change the whole global downward trend. To change the whole global downtrend, you need to go. This is a trend. You need to see something creating like base and then to go straight upward. And that's a sign that investors start together with traders who did this first push and then investors establish the new trend. This is area where you build positions on. You know, you build here, you add after the retest if there is no big if there is no compression on the top or something, that's how you trade. Okay, this may be a very very good position if we go like upward, you know, exit from this zone here, you know, and then have the swing lows here like resistance. So basically, we want to watch this and something like retest and building buying later on. This will be a very good position. But I will not watch to add selling. No. This selling is the the stage of the euro. It's big, big, you know, like third, fourth base um, after the strong downward moment. So a lot of investors will think to exit here and the new short-term traders and the short-term traders and the traders will start to push up higher since they also it seems for them also good to start to buy and investors will confirm that because they're already happy with big earnings here so they exit probably at this stage if they see the, the traders have the power you know and then they will also start to exit their selling exit around this stage here and start to build buying that's it <clears throat> so again Everything, this is a just one small part what I'm teaching on the, my mentorship program of seven days, my seven days curse mentorship program. I'm teaching you basically, this is a basics about, there is a also technique using the moving averages also in front of all of this I'm speaking about and much deeper volume analysis. Um, you have also one very good technique together to put with this one, which will do very, very good success. You know, very high min ratio, very high probability setups. Okay? So don't think that you have every tool you need to be successful. All you need is in your head, basically. And you have the charts, you have the price, you have the price, it's all you need, price, candles, bars. You use volume to help you, like additional, and you can use moving averages, which is also fine to see the compression and uh, uh, compression and separation as well from you know, traders from investors. So together with knowledge of the Vikov analysis, for example, I'm teaching you and about the basis and how you know how basically the trend dynamic is changing, you know. To understand that, you will be very successful. Um, and my advice to start a mentorship program, I'm also doing a managing account as well. If you have capital, I can manage and we can also build a good success. So uh, that we all for this uh, webinar, um, uh, keep follow me on the, my YouTube channel. Um, also visit the Forex Factory Trad. Uh, Forex Factory Trad is um, Darto Trading by Petr Serbia. And um, that's it. Uh, don't lose time. Uh, you can be successful on the Forex, on the stock, on the long-term investing. You can be successful speculating on the short-term uh, Forex, but you need the knowledge. You need a quality knowledge, and I'm. I'm offering you all you need about the price action, uh, you know, including the technique to spot the equilibrium, to use the properly to use the base, to use the Vikov logic, together with pre-price action supply demand zones. 
also you can add a Fibonacci work and all this make you a very very good technical analyst which and then you're able to very good to to earn very good and build very good success that's it also my Skype name is um, I will write you it's better I'll write you here better dot Yakimovic well done this is my Skype name so I don't know Skype so we can talk there and uh, you can also send me the mail packs next at gmail.com that's it for this webinar I hope you enjoyed and I wish you good trading and